Okay, so there's a couple of different steps that you can follow if you really want to maximize your marketing budget. Um, when things have slowed down or if you're just getting started, this is a great way to make your budget go further. I get, for every two mailings I do, I get the third one free compared to hiring a mailing agency. Uh, the best part about this process is you can take all of your templates and your mailing list and everything. Once you start getting some money coming in, you can take that to a professional printer and have them continue this process for you. Super easy. Um, one of the biggest things is I have a Epson EcoTank printer that allows me to print off 2,500 to 3,000 uh, postcards before I need to refill the ink. And to refill the ink costs me 25 bucks. And then the second one to address the printable stamps, you have to apply for a permit to have printable stamps. You do that on USPS.com. You go down to the bottom of their page. You have to set up a business customer gateway account by clicking on this link right here. And then you have to fill out a form through forms and publications. You go to find a form. It's a 3615 form. It's your mailing permit and application. It took me about an hour and a half to get all this set up. Um, I called the post office and had them walk me through it because I kind of got lost. It was super easy. They walked me through step by step on how to do it, where to take the mailings, what's required. I'm allowed to print up to eight and a half by 11 and it cost me 31, uh, 31 cents per sheet um, with this permit. So it saves me a ton of money and I don't have to sit there and peel off the stickers and put them on there. Um, <clears throat> In order to upload your mailing list to Canva, it's actually really simple. Uh, Canva's taken over. They made everything really simple. I do mine in two steps. So I got the back of my card that I do separately than the front. So I don't have to download 600 um, for the front and the back. I just download the back. Then I add the front to it later. I have my QR code that takes them directly to my home valuation page where they can fill out all their information. Um, and it creates a lead in my CRM. So if you want to know how to create the QR codes, that's also really simple. Just let me know. But the way you upload your list is you take your text, drop it in here. And I have three different texts here for this one. You go to your apps to bulk create. And then you upload your CSV file. Um, the way that this pulls all this information in is from the CSV file. So the way I have it organized in my file is first name, last name. All this stuff is from that file. Then you go and right click and hit connect to data and you can see all the information from your file. So if you want just the first name, you click on it, it'll pull that right there for you. And after you're done with that, you just hit continue. Still pulling that first name for some reason, but whatever. And generate. And this will create your whole mailing list right there in Canva. You can print it all off super easy. Um, I got to the point where I was sick of paying for people that had zero, zero experience in real estate trying to run my marketing for me. So I just decided to do it all myself. Uh, once it's all set up, it's super easy. Um, but this is awesome because what you can do with this is you send it out to your farm. Then through your Facebook ads, you can target Facebook's doesn't let you target as much as they used to, but you can target that area so that those people in your farm are seeing your, your face pull up on Facebook. And then you can run your Google ads to that same exact area. So they see you on Google when they search for you, then they see the mailers come to the house. And then once you get a sign in the yard in your farm, it's over from there. Um, so, but like I said, I got sick of just paying for everybody that wouldn't do anything. I got to the point now where I'm getting my Facebook ads. My buyer's leads are 350 per buyer lead on Facebook. And then most of my seller leads come through, uh, Google ads. So if you have questions on how to do any of that, let me know that stuff's a little bit more complicated, but once you nail it down and learn the actual process, you can take your business farther than you will ever be able to pay for somebody just doing it for you and no idea what's really going on. So I hope that helps.